morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Here's a look at some of your Monday morning headlines. Governor Ron DeSantis will hold a news conference in Tampa and Miami later today after health officials confirmed the first two presumptive positive cases of the coronavirus in the state. Now, these are not fully confirmed cases, rather cases that have tested positive in a lab and are pending final testing at the Centers for Disease Control. One is in Hillsborough County, the other in Manatee County. Governor DeSantis has declared a public health emergency in the entire state. Two people in Washington state are the first people in America to die from the coronavirus. One man was in his 70s in the Seattle area who had underlying health conditions. The other, a 50-year-old man with no connection to foreign travel. New York, Rhode Island, and the Dominican Republic are also reporting their first cases of the disease. More than 3,000 people worldwide have died from the coronavirus. New this morning, Pembroke Pines Police is investigating after a man was found dead. They say he was found at around 9.30 at his home near Southwest 10th Avenue and 6th Court. Officials are not releasing any more information or saying how he died, but are asking anyone with information to call them. Early voting gets underway this morning in parts of South Florida. Voters in Miami-Dade and Monroe County can cast their ballots starting today, and Broward early voting begins Saturday. Florida's primary will take place two weeks from tomorrow. Keep in mind, this is a closed primary, which means you can only vote for candidates in your registered party. And remember, bring a valid ID if you plan on voting. And that's a look at some of your Monday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.